I wanted to show off my Pride and Joy canoe trailer. I made this thing a few years ago. I've been real happy with it. I've made a few trailers, and this is the only one I made for myself to keep. We do a lot of camping, canoeing, and I wanted something that I could just haul the boats on and uh, whatever camping gear we might want to haul. Um, the frame is two by four rectangular tubing. The tongue is four by four tube. I made it long enough that the boats could hang off and we don't have to worry about uh, hitting the vehicle. So it's got a pretty long tongue on it. The axle is, I think a 5,700 pound trailer axle, six bolt. It's just one I had laying around. This is like a, a C channel fender. So it's, um, it's not the typical stamped sheet metal that most trailers have. And this is something you can walk on, stand on, and you don't have to worry about it uh, cracking or coming loose. These fender braces right here, I uh, did it an angle just in case you're going down a tight trail and you bump a, a tree or something over here. I guess the idea is that it can push the trailer to the side instead of just catching the front lip of the fender. The suspension is probably one of the things I like the most. This is a 63 inch long leaf spring out of a Chevy pickup truck, like a mid nineties. It's real long and it's real soft. Actually it was a little too soft. So I ended up putting shocks on it and now it's perfect. LED lights that are completely enclosed in this box and the wires run all the way through the frame, all the way down the frame. The wires ran through this junction here and I cut a square hole in the tongue, a small one under here, so the wires could go through the tongue. And the only place they're exposed is right there. I have a Bulldog two inch coupler. Round back. I ended up putting a uh, receiver hitch on there um, to put our bike rack on if we wanted to haul our bicycles on a trip somewhere. Also have these attachment points in case I need to hook onto something, which is not likely, but always gives you the option. And top part, two inch square tubing, makes these vertical posts go into some pipe. It's not real thick wall, it's just, didn't need to be. There's always a balance between strong enough to last versus heavy, you know, too heavy to haul or harder on a vehicle. So I try to find a balance between uh, sturdy, but not overly heavy. I haven't weighed this trailer. I'm not really sure how much it weighs, but it's pretty easy to pull. Originally, these, these pieces I had sticking straight up, but the sides of the boat flare out and they would hit this top edge so i had to heat that up with a torch and bend it out but i think it is just about perfect for my needs like i said i don't know if i mentioned that the deck is four foot by eight foot but it rides really really smooth hauls really well and i couldn't be happier